will always be the milestone of the Royal and Field history at the year of 2014. By this, they focus on the most cheapest cafe racer that is available in the India market. This model opened a new chapter to all the Royal and Field motorcycles that they ever had with all the aspects like the torque, power, suspension setup and moreover those awesome Brembo brake calipers. So here in this motorcycle we use the Pirelli Sport Demon 100 bar 90 bar 18 inch aluminium rims that gives a very good grip. We have one of the best Royal and Field headlights that give a very good illumination and a very nice indicator. So coming back we have the clip-on handlebars we have an aftermarket grips in this motorcycle and a very good meter console. This meter console includes a lot of data. This digital meter will show you up the fuel gauge, the trip one, trip two, and the left in the left meter we have a large speedometer which also shows the kilometer per hour, then also the miles per hour that we Indians does not need much. So coming to the right one, we have the big RPM meter with straight lines up to 6000 RPM and the neutral indicator, the engine check light, the battery warning indicator, the left and right indicators and this bike also got those pass lights indicators too. Coming to the front suspension we have the telescopic 41mm Fox which travels up to 110mm and this is not that good for bad roads, uh, the highways it's awesome. Then we have the rear suspension, the Piolis. They are very rare in a Royal Enfield motorcycle. Coming to the front Brembos, the best braking system that Royal Enfield had ever given. 300mm twin piston floating caliper from Brembo. And while coming to the rear, we have the 240mm Biobri brakes to stop this 200kg massive motorcycle. This 535 engine it has a 29.1 horsepower at 5100 rpm and a 44 newton meters of torque at 4000 rpm in a single cylinder motorcycle so that's what happens that this much pull and acceleration from this massive motorcycle so let me step into the pros of this motorcycle the main pro that i felt this bike is so damn beautiful compared to all other Royal Enfield motorcycles that they have ever manufactured till now. I know this 50 is going to launch, but till now, till in production or till that they have ever launched, this motorcycle is so damn beautiful. The kind of attention that you get from the from the people to these motorcycles is phenomenal. Another good part of this motorcycle is the suspension setup. The Piolis and the front telescopic suspensions are giving a very good confidence at the curves. Another pro that I felt that this bike has a very good top speed combined to the all other Royal Field uh, motorcycles and the kind of acceleration that this motorcycle giving is very good, very crisp and very fast. Now let me step into the cones. So, as you have mentioned before, cafe races are not meant for long distance commutation like the rest of the Royal Enfield bikes they have manufactured. So like this, as same as this motorcycle is not 
that good for the long distance commutation that's about uh, 200 or 300 plus kilometers of non-stop ride this motorcycle is not that comfortable for that ride these motorcycles are not that good at off roads and where there is bad roads the suspension setup at the front the telescopic ones we travel only one ton mm that gives a lot of vibration to the handle clip-ons and the suspension is not picking up that much uh, bad roads to the motorcycle Comparing to the price point and comparing to other Royal Finn motorcycles, this bike had some service cost problems. The brake pads, the suspensions, and all the best things that Royal Enfield can Royal Enfield put on this motorcycle is expensive and it's very rare to get. The front Brembo brake pads will cost you about 2000 plus. The each pile shocks will cost you about 8000 plus. So at the maintenance, it's not that much cool or happy or simple comparing to other Royal Field motorcycles. And the commuting service, we all need to service on the oil change at about uh, 5000 kilometers and uh, proper brake pads change and chain socket change at proper 10,000 or 8000 kilometers or something. Cafe races is all about the type of riding, the mood of riding, the happiness that we get, that's it. This motorcycle is not in production right now. His younger brother, the 650 twins, are already coming and it's about to launch. That's all guys, that's what I felt from this beautiful motorcycle. So if you like my review, if you like what I said, just smash the subscribe button and showing some love in the form of likes and comments. Thanks for watching. Your Dabo Shifto signing out. Have a good ride and safe ride.